In this video, I'll show you how to enable a custom quotation button on your WooCommerce cart page in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are in our demo store and currently I've got a few items in our basket. Let's go ahead and add another one. So let's go ahead and add this one here. Okay, and then if we navigate to our cart page, when we scroll down, we've got this quotation button, okay? And you can rename the button to say whatever you want. You can also change the location as well. Um, so you can also change the placement of this button. So you can add a message under the shipping here, but it makes sense to just have the quotation button here, okay? So, so in this scenario, your customers can go ahead and check out or they can request a custom quote for the items in their basket, okay? So let's just hit get quote. Okay, and then here it automatically converts their cart into this quotation form here. So now they just need to go ahead and fill in the form and you can customize the field on this quotation form, right? So if we enter in our name, let's add a email address. Okay, so once this user submits this quote, then the admin will be notified and then the admin can go ahead and provide that particular prospect with a custom quote. Okay, so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the request the quote plugin by aovup. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the aovup request the quote plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin so we'll go plugins add new go ahead and upload and install the plugin once you've done so you'll see this Wii suite menu here go ahead and activate your license key once you've done so it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section okay and then from here we can just make sure we enable the request the quote plugin so i've already got it enabled so now let's go ahead and configure our cart quotation settings okay so i'm just going to click manage okay and then we'll navigate to settings Okay, and then under general settings here, we've got this option where it says convert card to quote. Um, so by default, it'll be disabled. Um, however, we're going to select this option here where it says below checkout button. Okay, because we want to add this quotation button right below the checkout button. Okay, like I showed you in the example earlier. Also, we can specify when we want to show this quotation button. So maybe you want to show this quotation button in the event that a customer's shipping outside of your shipping zone right so maybe you only service a particular area but then there might be a customer wanted to check out in an area which you don't typically service so in that case it makes sense to provide them with the quotation button and then you'll be able to provide them with a custom quote to cover that shipping cost right or any other um, additional costs it might incur you to actually fulfill that order so where it says applies to i'm just going to select default right meaning it will show for all users and then here where it says convert cart to quote button label we can just add our custom button here okay so we can say get quotation for example okay and then let's go ahead and hit save changes Okay, so a few things to note as well whilst we're here. Um, one, we need to enable a email address for the store manager. So whenever a quote's been submitted, um, the store manager will get an email, right? And then if we navigate over to email notifications here, we also need to configure these emails here. So whenever there's an email pending, this is a message that the admin will see, right? And then we can go ahead and enable a custom email. So whenever a, a quotation has been approved by the customer, we can notify the admin as well. We can also notify the admin in the event that the customer actually rejects the email, right? And then here where it says customer email. So this is the email that the customer will get. So let's say, for example, I've just submitted a quote as a customer. We can automatically send them an email, just letting them know that we've received the email and that someone will review it and get back to them, right? Or any other additional information you might want to provide that customer. It makes sense to set up those email notifications, okay? That's about it. So if we navigate over to our store page, okay? And I've already got a few items in my basket. So I'm just gonna go ahead and view cart and then we'll convert this into a custom quote. 
and then we can fill in the form and then the admin will be notified. I'll like show you quickly how it looks on the back end whenever a new quote's been submitted. So let's navigate back over to our dashboard here. So as I mentioned, the admin will get an email informing them that there's a new quote that needs their attention. And we can also view all the submitted quotes here where it says submitted quotes, okay? And then this is the quote which I submitted earlier. So we can view this quote. Okay, and then we can see the form field that the customer, well, that the prospect filled in. Okay, and then we can send the customer a custom quotation, right? So we can add an expiry date to it. So we can say this quote offer will expire in maybe two weeks time. And then we want to enable this option here. So it will send an update to this particular customer email, right? Okay, so for the price, we can see this is the current price. We can add in our custom price here. So maybe we'll say this and then maybe we'll just leave those as default. For the shipping cost, we can add a custom shipping cost as well. We can also append a note to this quotation as well that the customer will be able to reply to. If we wanted to add additional products, we can do so here. And then finally, all we need to do is just go ahead and hit update. And then the status has been changed to proposed. And then as I said, this particular customer will be notified. And then within the email, they'll have an option to either approve or reject the quotation. And they'll also have the option as well to add a note, right? So if they go ahead and reject it, then they can just add a note letting you know why they rejected the particular quote, right? And that's a quick and simple way to enable cart quotation on your WooCommerce cart page. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.